Hani. about repentance um, a lot of people just grew up probably not knowing about it or they hear about it and like what the heck does that even mean or how can I go about it so this is the video for you I have some notes here um, just to make sure that I capture everything that the Lord wants me to capture on today so the first step is what is repentance so I know a lot of people are like what is it? Where do I begin? How do I go about it? But you should really know the aspect and the background of the meaning of repentance, the meaning of repenting. Um, as we all know, Jesus died for our sins. He died on the cross for us. Um, but it was a reason why he did that. Because back in the day, in the Old Testament, if you um, go read like in Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, um, a lot of like the Old Testament, you will see that a lot of people sacrificed animals to be able to ask for forgiveness from God. All right. They sacrificed like um, lambs and sheep. So there's a lot of different things they sacrificed to be able to um, ask for forgiveness from God for whatever sin that they did. Okay. So what really caught my attention um, as I was reading the word and reading in the Old Testament and reading in the New Testament, I saw something on social media. I forgot, but somebody literally, literally broke down on the meaning of repentance and the meaning of um, basically why Jesus died for us and stuff like that. So basically, you know how they sacrificed the animals in the Old Testament and we call Jesus our lamb get it we call him the lamb of god just think the lord allowed jesus to sacrifice for us because he is the lamb the lamb of god the same way as how they were sacrificing animals in the old testament he is the lamb <laughs> so he was sacrificed for us for our sins so we can be able to make it right instead of having to sacrifice animals or like in Abraham's situation, he was about to sacrifice his son by, by being obedient by God, by fully um, uh, surrendering. If you go read in Genesis, you understand the aspects of Abraham and Isaac on how his walk went when he was about to sacrifice his son because he fully had faith in God. He fully was trusting in God. He fully was, um, he was being tested in that manner, but he still went forward and was obedient to God. Um, he was about to sacrifice his son. The Lord didn't want us to be sacrificing animals or any of that of that nature. So he brought his son here to be able to help us to do something else, to do something um, new, do something different, to be able to um, ask for forgiveness and be able to fully follow Jesus in the way that the Lord wants us to be because God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit is in one. So he brought himself in the image of God here on earth that makes sense i'm not rambling too much um like basically what i'm trying to say is jesus died for our sins so we can be able to have another chance so we can be able to make it right instead of going out and um sacrificing animals out of forgiveness all we have to do is repent to god and fully surrender fully surrender to jesus fully repent to jesus um and to let go of anything that is not of him in that moment of just fully repenting knowingly and unknowingly um, towards God. Yeah. Jesus went through all of that, all of the pain, all of the suffering um, that they did to him as he went up on the cross. Like, if y'all y'all need to go um, watch that movie, Passion of Christ. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm saying it wrong, I'll write it in the video. But y'all need to go watch that on um, the Angel Studios and see in depth on everything that he went through. He died for us to be able to make it right, to be able to have another chance, to be able to not just um, go go to hell because we know that we were all born in sin. We get that. We all know that we were born in sin, but the Lord brought Jesus down here to walk with us, to be able to, for him to be able to um, 
be the living example of not ever sending uh, what <laughs> not ever sinning um and just being perfect so we can be able to have something to look to to physically look to as human beings to look to see how we need to see how he's moving so we can move exactly the same way and um create disciples like how he did um and preach the gospel and go out and tell the good news about him that he rose on the third day that he died for our sins and we all need to repent to be able to make it right to be able to um fully stand strong in him and know that he is the only way to heaven and that is my um next point um um the next point i have is why do we repent like why why do we have to repent like you know a lot of people like why do we have to repent i've seen a lot of people say that why do we have to repent um if he if he died for us um, what is the reasoning like he already died for us like this stuff like this really like stuff like that that a lot of people have been saying um but I want to give a little uh what can I say a little more in depth of why so we all know that we were born into sin right so automatically that's not good like we were born into sin due to Adam and Eve all right it literally says in the word we can only inherit the kingdom through Jesus the enemy is trying it like I was just outside trying to record this video and music started playing the baby was crying like he be trying to intervene in so many ways but this video will get done in Jesus name amen so yeah it says it says in the word that you can only inherit the kingdom through Jesus so if you don't have Jesus, if you don't have relationship with Jesus, remove religion out of the way. If you don't have a relationship with Jesus, you will not be able to inherit the kingdom. If you don't know Jesus, you will not be able to inherit the kingdom. If you don't believe in Jesus, you will not be able to inherit the kingdom. And that goes into play of believing in Jesus, repenting daily, fasting, praying, in your word, worshiping that's building a relationship with jesus by sitting with him having a relationship the same way how you would have a relationship with your significant other with your friends with your family how you would go spend time with them how you would go maybe sing with them whatever the case may be you do that with jesus by being in the presence of god by really just sitting and allowing him to move and um, Terry and Terry for a long time, like just sitting and praying and worshiping, just let him know everything that you are going through. Um, and repent, repent daily is the main key. Like seriously, repenting daily. I even have to repent. It's a lot of people that don't even know um, a lot of the sins that they are doing are actually sins. Like gossiping, I didn't know that was a sin until I read that in the word, okay? I did not know that gossiping was a sin. If you um, manipulation, telling your child, oh, I'll get you some chips if you go clean up your room, that's manipulation. That's a sin. Um, it stems from witchcraft. So it's a lot of things that we didn't know. Um, and I'm not, you know, judging anybody, whatever the case may be. We grew up a certain way. Even our parents probably didn't even know. So this is the time to be able to do our own research with Jesus to know what is of him and what is not of him so we can be able to move and be like him for he says to be like him we have to be pure and like him so we can be able to inherit the kingdom and yes this is not an easy thing that's why you have to repent daily that's why i keep on saying to repent daily i still have to repent daily off of things um that i have going on or whatever the case may be i still have to forgive daily like that's a sin unforgiveness is a sin like we have to really um acknowledge these things and ask the lord to give us knowledge and to get to give us wisdom to know what is of him and what is not of him okay um and another reason why we repent is to get out of that bondage the bondage that we were under with um being in trauma or dealing with situations with our family or dealing with situations with our friends or catching the spirit of offense. I know you probably caught the spirit of offense today for um, Pookie and him or your mom or your father or whatever the case may be, your teacher. 
the teacher told you to go do your homework or the teacher told you to go um, finish this project and maybe you got upset about that and boom pow, the spirit of offense is the open door to the enemy. I have a special guest that wants to come in. Everybody Hi, need Genesis. <laughs> this is my niece, Pooh. I have a question for you. What do you think about repentance? <laughs> Romans 3, um, verse, verse 23 and 24, Genesis. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Okay. So we all have sinned. We all have sinned. We were literally born in sin. We literally we sin it every day. Literally, it could be anything that you do. But that's the reason why we repent daily and ask for forgiveness daily. And not just ask for forgiveness, but also ask the Lord to help us to make it right. Help us to not continue to keep on doing the same mistakes that we did yesterday or the day before. Like, help us to be able to get through it and be able to um, know how to really manage it like know how to fight it off by like throwing scripture at the enemy or rebuking it in the name of jesus or whatever the sin that it is that you are dealing with and you are struggling with go to jesus and ask him to be able to help you with it to let it go to fully um strip out of it strip out of that bondage that you are in because if you stay in your sin and you don't repent daily it says in the word that you cannot inherit the kingdom for it also says in the word that my people lack, I mean, <laughs> my people perish for the lack of knowledge. So this is the time to really uh, pray for wisdom and pray for knowledge so you can be able to know, okay, I want to make it to heaven. I need to make it right. How can I do this? Like, this is the hour. This is the time to do this. I'm throwing scripture so I can back myself up because I'm not just talking to talk. This is what the Lord wants. And this is everything that I'm saying is literally in the word of God. Um, so it says in Luke, Luke 5, verse 31 and 32, and Jesus answered them, those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. He called us to repent. That's literally after he made his disciples, he literally told them to go preach the gospel, go tell the good news get my people to repent to turn away from their sin and come to me that's all he wants and that's literally going to get us into the kingdom as long as we repent daily as long as we seek him as long as we build a relationship with him as long as we are fasting and praying is the way that we will inherit the kingdom and i know a lot of y'all are probably struggling with depression anxiety i was one of those people of overthinking and having suicidal thoughts and all these things but my surrender to jesus and giving him my yes is what saved me by fully allowing him to move on my life and fully repenting from even things that my ancestors from generations did to help me to be able to be that generation to break that barrier down to be able to bring forward new generations that is going to be following the following the lord the way that he wants it to be okay so what i do daily um how to repent is to literally say lord god i repent for any sins that i have done knowingly and unknowingly it's a lot of things that we do that we don't even know that is a sin so you want to be able to pray these things um and ask for forgiveness and i ask the lord to help me if there's anything that i need help with that i keep on running back to as a sinner um help me to be able to strip it away and make it right help me to be the fruits of the spirit and if you are the fruits of the spirit that will help you to not be able to sin and this is a literally a daily thing we're not perfect we wasn't born to be perfect we were literally born into sin so this is a daily cycle a daily task that we have to do to repent daily to be able to inherit the kingdom okay i pray that this video helped y'all i pray that y'all 
um, have learned something from me on today. Maybe I'll do a part two if the Lord leads of maybe a deeper um, description or whatever the case may be he wants. Um, but I pray that this video touches your heart and lets you understand that you are not alone. That everybody is a sinner. We all are doing things that um, are not of God. Um, it's just a matter of fully knowing and understanding what you are doing and repenting daily and seeking Jesus in the midst of that. All right? If he can forgive me, he can forgive you. All right? Y'all have a wonderful day or morning, night, whatever the case may be. God bless y'all. I love you, but know that Jesus loves you more. Bye. Catch you on the flip side.